One is very mechanical, one is very engineer driven, while the other is very design focused. Tron and Mills are both an incredibly passionate. Are we ready now? Or? Okay. Hi, I'm uh, Tron Skau, owner of Nortec. I'm from uh, Oslo, Norway. Moved over here in 1984. I came to America. I was going to be a pilot. The airlines were basically, you had to have a million hours to get a job. So eventually ended up in the Caribbean and ran a charter boat down there. And I came back to America in 1990. Uh, my name is Nils Johnson. I'm one of the founders, part owner, and uh, the designer. I moved here in 1979, bought a plane ticket, uh, flew to San Francisco, drove to Acapulco, Mexico, and spent a month on the beach. Uh, went to Texas, uh, built Corvettes for air cars and fishing boats and went to Miami, uh, uh, built boats for air, and went back to Norway in 1981. I was building boat with another guy uh, in a, in a uh, abandoned factory, uh, working on and off, and Tron came down and uh, uh, wanted to buy uh, one of our uh, holes and decks. I said, let's move this stuff over, so I packed it up got some containers, we shipped them all over and started. We got them shipped over from uh, Europe and, uh, and it was basically only Niels and myself. We did everything, you know, we did the fiberglass, we did the upholstery, the rigging, everything. Was... I would sew all my own seats. Uh, I had a sewing machine, I would sit and fucking sew seats for night and day and we did all the molds. And every, we basically, Tron and I did every single part of the boat single-handedly ourselves in the building. In the beginning, I enjoyed that time tremendously being hands-on building these things. We had a lot of fun, you know, Niels and I was going to work every day, joking in the car, you know, having a beer. You know, it was, it was a very relaxed, fun uh, part. When we started, we were basically feel that we were going to build a few boats a year, be a small group, you know. Just it was a very relaxed, fun uh, part. But time was tough. But we still had orders to fill. We were finishing the second 80 footer at the time, and then it was actually Terry that uh, was been with us forever and uh, pushed on the center console that he felt that that was something we should attack and then together we teamed up and uh, the 39 was created and and we start building it. Right, well we just set the world on fire with the center console. Uh, we put the uh, Mercury new 400 racing motors on there and uh, it's uh, turning some heads. The request was to have a larger seating area in the bow area and that's why we came up with the idea with the, with the lounge in the front and put the cabin underneath the seat. Nobody else had done that and it's kind of interesting to see today that most manufacturers have copied that plan and, and done the same thing. 
Niels has been the designer since day one. I think he did an unbelievable job creating something sexy out of a center console boat. Because face it, it's an open boat, there's really not that much you can do. I always had a passion for design. I uh, designed ski boots. Uh, in my spare time, I never made any, but I would anything I could see, I would design, you know. And you grow up in a country like Norway back in those times, and, and Tron is, you know, very much the same type of personality. If you wanted something, you had to either make it or you had to come up with a plan how to get it. I was really good at having ideas and taking the ideas and actually execute them. That's one of the things that really it stands out. The performance of the boat is amazing. The ride is amazing. I think that's the key factor to the success. Every year we have been in business, we have come up with something new. We can quickly implement and adapt to what the market is looking for. Uh, as you all know, Nils is just designing these boats and knocking one out of the park after another. And to be able to have the freedom to really listen to the public and actually anticipate what they're looking for is one of our main strengths. This center console is going to be around forever. Is there another type of boat that's going to be popular? We don't know. But we sure try to come up with something new all the time. We just launched that 46 flyer, which is it's unbelievable. And we feel maybe that is the new way to go, that you know, have all the features that the center console have, but it looks more like a, a sexy performance boat. Power boats, obviously, in the back in the days were my favorites, but the Flyer series, uh, the 36 uh, Flyer, I think. The big Flyer is awesome, but that 36 Flyer is a, is a pretty cool boat for, uh, for my type of use, you know. The, the fact that we, Trun and I, would sit in Norway and dream about this stuff, all of a sudden, you know all these people that you were just read about, you know, and all of a sudden, you're one of their biggest clients. And, uh, and uh, like the business then is one thing, but you, you got to the point where those people you looked at, heroes, whatever you want to call them, as a kid, now you deal with these guys, now you're friends with them, you know, which, which I think is the coolest part of the whole thing, really. You know. We sold more, little bit more boats, little bit more boats, you know, and it's suddenly, it just grew and it's kind of surreal that 30 years later we have a company with over 200 people, we're building 100 boats a year. And it, and it just kind of happened and I don't have a really good way of why, how did it suddenly go from this to that, you know, it's just happened. And my dad had a kind of an interesting specter of getting older, you know, so because you feel today, I feel I'm the same age as when we started this thing. And then my dad said to me, you know, when I look in the mirror, I see an old man. So that's why in the mirror is a bad thing, we shouldn't have that around because we are still very young at heart. <laughs>